All right, what is going on guys? Paul one today. We are back with a brand new Black Ops 3 gameplay today with an absolutely crazy gun streak that just pops off, man. This gun, we're gonna talk about that. But before we get any further, if you guys want to subscribe to Carnage Clan if you are new, make sure to do that. Hit those notifications. Shout out to all you hashtag team notifications squad VIP members. You're the best. We love you. Shout out to you guys down below. Very easy to become part of them. Just comment hashtag team notification if you have notifications on here at Carnage by pressing that little bell icon down below by the subscribe button. Of course, drop a like on today's video we are doing a giveaway at the end of every single month very very easy to enter just show us that you're active here at carnage just become a fan be a fan of carnage like leave a comment drop a like subscribe to carnage tweet carnage over on the carnage clan twitter boom there's the carnage clan twitter if you want to follow me boom there i am follow me shoot me a tweet just show some kind of carnage love tweet hashtag carnage on twitter something like that but yeah there's gonna be a couple of winners at the end of this month than every other month from here on out so look to that but anyways let's go ahead and jump into today's video today we are watching a 94 gun streak by carnage big bro on the map breach with the xr2 that is right the xr2 is an extremely good weapon now a lot of people are gonna make fun of me after this video a lot of people are gonna go down to comments and just be like boom 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 like typing like a madman like just going off of me i can already hear you guys i know and i apologize but it's true i didn't know that the xr2 was even a decent weapon until literally a couple of weeks ago when I started deciding to go for the Dark Matter camo in the game and... <laughs> Good God, I started using the XR2, and it is my new favorite weapon. Every time I told people that the, the uh, ICR was my favorite weapon in Black Ops 3, people were like, what are you talking about? But I will stand by that. The ICR, personally, is my favorite weapon um, right next to the XR2 now, because the ICR, ICR, like, people hate on it for some reason, but it's an extremely, extremely accurate gun. It kills fast. Yeah, it has a low rate of fire, but you throw on rapid fire, you're good to go. I don't know. People just seem to hate on that gun. I absolutely love it. It's, it's a fantastic weapon for me. But guys, the XR2, if you have not used this weapon by now, you are missing out just like I have for the past two years since Black Ops 3 has come out because XR2, I get crazy, crazy shots on, on when I'm playing with it. Like, I've been doing better. I've been getting feeds like crazy with it. Uh, I just get so many one bursts using this gun and there's so many times when like I feel like I shouldn't have gotten a kill, but I get it. And also because I get so many one bursts with it, I'm able to take out so many enemies so quickly. And on top of that, with grip on it, it makes it a laser of a gun. I have that ELO side on it it's just it's such a fun gun to use too it reminds me so much of the type from modern warfare 3 getting those beautiful one burst with red dot sight i miss that gun so much guys uh it's just it's a fun gun by the way if you want to see more modern warfare 3 gameplay here at carnage hit that hashtag modern warfare 3 in the comment section below i want to see how many guys of you would be interested on that bring back some of those old classic guns we can maybe do like a moab with every weapon or something i don't know let me know down in the comments I'm, I'm very curious to see what you guys think but um yeah the xr2 guys i've been loving it i've been using it and I've, like i said i've been going for dark matter camo which is a like really a big thing for me like what you're actually going for a a, a achievement in a Call of Duty game. That's right, I'm trying to get Dark Matter before World War II comes out. Probably not gonna happen the more I think about it because I have to do so many weapons I suck at. But who knows, maybe I'll even like turn it into a series on my personal channel, which by the way, I will be returning on my personal channel here shortly. But guys, make sure to check out Carnage Big Bro. His link will be right at the top of the description below. You don't wanna miss out on any of his content. He's going to be popping off, blowing up. <laughs> in World War II like no other. Just like he did in Black Ops 3, Infinite Warfare, he kind of took a vacation or a strange break, I should say. But he is coming back. World War II is going to be popping like our collars. Yeah, I don't know. I try to make a reference. It's every day, bro. It's every day, bro. Oh, dab on the haters. It's lit. Big bro, he is going to be doing crazy things in World War II. Uh, I really do. I feel confident that he's going to be getting good gameplays um, when boots on the ground return. And good God, just sitting here thinking about it, I'm so hyped for World War II, guys. It's so close. Literally a month away from today. That rhymed. But literally a month away from yesterday, I should actually say. We are going to be playing World War II all together on the beta. It's going to be fun. It's going to be super exciting. I'm really looking forward to it, just to being able to play with you guys. I want to play more with you guys. We'll probably probably be holding maybe some open lobbies or something like that here uh, in the next couple of weeks leading up to the beta. And then there's going to be some surprises around the beta. That's, that's all I'm going to say. You know, I'm not going to say too much around there. I don't want to go into details. I don't want to spoil anything, but be sure to be looking out, especially if you're a YouTuber. But World War II is going to be a great game, guys. I got the chance to play it at E3. It was so fun. It reminded me so much of just classic good old fashioned Call of Duty with boots on the ground. Ah! 
running around, playing strategically, not having to worry about people running on the walls and jumping from the skies and double jumping and all that crazy stuff. Not that I exactly minded it too much. I liked it in Black Ops 3. Honestly, I liked it in Advanced Warfare. Didn't like it in Infinite Warfare at all, but uh, I'm really, really looking forward to Boots on the Ground returning. Of course, I prefer it over the EXO and Advanced Movement System. It's just the way I grew up playing Call of Duty, and I'm very excited to looking to seeing it return. You know, Black Ops 2 and Call of Duty Ghosts, we keep forgetting that those were futuristic based games and they were, you know, boots on the ground as well. So it's been a very long time since we've had a boots on the ground and on top of that, a basic modern or in the past Call of Duty game, nothing futuristic. Because like I said, Black Ops 2, Black, uh, Black Ops 2 and, and Call of Duty Ghosts, although, you know, not advanced movement and they weren't super futuristic, they were definitely, definitely futuristic Call of Duty games, uh, especially based on the campaign, the kill streaks, all that kind of stuff, some of the maps even. Uh, so to see Call of Duty kind of return to its roots, return to that very realistic feel is super, super good. It's good for the franchise. It's good for gameplay. It's good for our, you know, ourselves. I guarantee you guys will like it. Please trust me on this one. It's going to be a fun, fun year. I'm just... I can't wait to play it. I can't wait to play it with the Carnage guys. Can't wait to play it with you guys. Just can't wait to play it in general. Start leveling up, prestiging, all that good stuff. But anyways, guys, hope they're having a fantastic day. Once again, drop a like on today's video. Look out for some G Fuel and Control Free giveaways here at the end of this month. Just in a few days, we're going to be selecting a couple of winners, so you don't want to miss out on that. But hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and I will talk to you all later.